Hey everyone, it's a nice day out. It's supposed to be getting warmer, some of the snow is going to melt, so that's great. But I thought I'd start by, I was looking around the yard, looking out at all the vehicles I have, all the projects to work on. I said, like, man, there is a lot of these. I should probably get some of these done to work on. So today in the video, I did what a lot of you would do in that situation. I found another project. We're going to go find that right now. Take a look at the car. So I'll turn this thing around and see how it looks. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. If the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. But he ain't staying from the people who deceive me. But he ain't break through the chains, go free me. Well, there it is. Another third gen F body Camaro. Yeah! Project, do I really need another one? Yeah, that's what we'll probably call this. Like, do I really need another one? No, but it's a disease. What can I say? So it looks pretty good. I mean, it's got the IROC trim on it. I don't think it is an actual IROC. It's got the T-tops. It's got the 305. We'll show you that in a little bit. Five speed. So this is a nice, fun car. Plan is we're going to get the kids to fix it up and they can drive it around. Nice thing about the 305 and the five speed is I'll teach them how to drive a stick. It's got the low end torque, easier to learn on. That combination actually gets pretty good fuel mileage. So once we get this up and running, it could be a pretty sweet car. Got a little bit of rust repair to do on it, polish up some paint and stuff. But uh, we're gonna have some fun. Let's have a walk around. Wow, look at that. We got power windows and they're working. That's cool. Let's go have a look at the engine. There's that mighty 305 with the quadra bog on it. We've checked the oil. We've checked it's even got some green stuff in the radiator. That's crazy. I'll show you. Oh, it sounds like Logan's playing with other stuff. Look at that. Nice and green. Oil's good. I don't see why we can't just see if this will turn over. Go ahead. See if it'll turn over. Okay, that's good. Hold on. Oh, I wonder what happens if we put some uh, fuel down the yap. Should we try that, Logan? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do it. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Crank it over. Let's see what happens. What? Oh, look at that. Nice. Just like that. Sounds pretty good. Give it a little gas. <laughs> what do you think of That's the easiest... One yet, isn't it? It doesn't smell too good. <laughs> well, we don't want to run too long because we don't know how old the fuel is in here, but yeah. Sweet, that was easy. I like Chevys. Look at that, folks. This is running off the tank. The carburetor's leaking. And, like, you can see it wet there. Give it a little gas, Logan. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> She's smoking good, but looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. Dang! Sounds good. It runs good. Let it just idle. That's crazy. I guess we're driving it off the trailer. Yeah. What? <laughs> I like that smile. That's awesome, man. You happy? Yeah. Where are we going to put it? Though? Doesn't matter. It runs. If it moves under its own power, we can put it wherever. Because you can always move it. Point is, listen to it. It's just purring. Oh, it'll bog because the fuel's bad. And we got to go through it. We got to clean everything up. But you like it? Yeah. Not bad for a first car, eh? Car troubles, eh? Well, technically, that's your first car. But Parisian, that's for the shows and stuff. This one here, this is for him to cruise in. So, commute back and forth a bit. I think this is a great car for that. Uh, we'll get into more on why I think that, but uh, right on, buddy. 
Let's get her off the trailer. Let's drive it off the trailer. We're gonna actually attempt to drive this off the trailer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the winch connected. We're gonna let it back itself out in neutral until the back wheels touch because the deck might be a little bit slick with some of the snow and ice that was still on it. And we don't want the car sliding off as we're trying to unload it and damaging it. So we're gonna roll it back with the winch and we're gonna start it up and see if it'll drive off. Let's see what happens. Hopefully no cats were under the back of that trailer. Oh God. What is it? Oh, yeah. You believe it's still in neutral, right, Logan? Yeah, it's still in neutral. rolling a good thing that uh, stopped <laughs> <laughs> yeah that battery give it a boost see if it fires up again batteries Go get some registration, start driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll yeah. have to go through everything, make give it an oil change, make sure everything's safe. But man, that thing runs smooth like that is nice. Well, folks, it's been sitting here idling for about 10 minutes or so. Temperature has come up, but it's not overheating or anything like that. Battery gauge works, temp gauge works, gas gauge, we're not sure about. Um, get oil, good oil pressure. that fuel in it bring the rpms up oil pressure comes up look at that really nice very happy goodbye very goodbye uh, this is not the car i ordered okay folks one of the first things we have to take care of on this camaro is down there See that fuel pump? Oof, that is a smell. What an incredible smell you've discovered! Um, I think that line's leaking right there, that rubber line. So we're going to pop that off, put a new piece in. This fuel pump gets really wet after things have been running for a while. We're going to tackle that first. Get that changed, and if the fuel pump itself is leaking, then we'll have to change that. But let's tackle that hose. It's not looking very good. Let's see if we can get you closer to it. There you go. You can see it's swelled up a fair bit. It's got some funny angles in it, so we'll try to fix that. All right, there's the deal. You can see that this line uh, has a bend in it, and there's the remaining half down there. These were really close together when it was installed, so someone must have damaged it. I'll just And they just had a hose in there, which put a couple kinks in that hose, which is not the best situation. So we're going to cut it down, make it so that the hose has a little more of a run, doesn't get kinked, and we should be able to take care of this problem. Well, there we go. That looks a lot better. We'll fire it up, see if we get any leaks. I believe we have some success. It's looking nice and dry down there. Carrying on. Next thing we got to fix is this hood. A little problem there, a little problem here. We'll get those sorted out. And I don't know why the wipers are going. They're <laughs> doing their own thing. I spoke a little too soon. Look at <laughs> Look at that sucker leak. Woo! That's why we're running out of fuel. At least it smells fresh now. It's it doesn't smell like varnish anymore. Uh Mike, go ahead and fire it up. Let's let's uh see what happens. Oh look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to get a fuel pump. For what? Something called a pumpa de benzina. Alright. 
All right, folks, we're going to get started changing this fuel pump, and then we'll probably pull the carb off and rebuild it as well. We might let Mike have the joy of that experience. What do you, what do you think about that, Mike? Well, I'll give it a try. All right, nice and shiny out of the bag. It's a Carter pump. Well, hopefully it's good because I know some people that haven't been having much luck with fuel pumps lately. Ready to see me at my absolute friggin' worst? So we'll give this a shot, see what happens. It's because I have a bunch of junk fuel pump and uh, if there's any tricks to this i'll fill you in right now we're just going to take the two bolts out to disconnect the lines damn it and three lines on this so there's a feed line to the carb there's a feed line to the pump and a return to the tank so let's get those off and get to it Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something here. You can see the, the fuel pump drive rod right here. And we can push that back up with our finger and it'll slowly slide back down. There you go. So what you want to do, what I do is I take this bolt out and I replace it with one of the pump mount bolts. We'll push the rod back up, thread that in, and it'll pinch the rod until we get the fuel pump back on. We'll get it started with one bolt and making sure the arm's in the right place. Then we'll start the other bolt. I also explained this on the C10 video, which I'll put a link to, but there you go. Push, push that up, pinch it with the bolt. Should be good to put the pump in. I've got a new pump on. I got the first line on. What I do is I've got a ground down pair of flat vice grips that I use to pinch the line off so you don't leak fuel all the time. The clamps! <laughs> I plug the feed line off by just pinching it. I'm going to take these off, put them on one at a time. We should be good. Hey folks, here we go. We got Mike going to try to do some welding here. I'm going to turn my head away so I don't get blinded and we'll see how he does. I kind of go straight on on it, not on an angle like that. We're going to need that for Monday so we can look at that solar eclipse. Yeah. I'm trying to go too fast, I guess. Well, you, you're doing too many. Tss, 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 yeah, right. well, I was doing that on purpose. I didn't realize. Yeah, that. yeah, you want because you want to get the metal hot enough that it actually fuses together. But I, I think that's pretty good. We can probably grind that down. We'll get one of those flop discs on the, the sanding discs on the grinder. We'll the grinder hit it with that. Using... Yeah, we're gonna hit this again. That looks pretty good, though. That should work. Mike, what do you say? Now that we've got your repair drawing there, why don't we see if that fuel pump repair works? You go pump the gas two times, hit that key, see if it fires up. It should start. It's just a matter of whether or not it sprays out the bottom. Huh? Yeah, well, we just, we want to start it before we take the carb off. Yeah. Make sure everything's working. And then we can take the carb off because you knew it ran before. Yeah. So we'll take the carb off after we've confirmed the new fuel pump works. Otherwise, we could be chasing two problems right. and we won't know it. So I know if it doesn't work after that was our fault for the car. Correct. I, I think two pumps. Two, you think? I think so. <laughs> What's that? Leaking? I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll let it go for a little bit. Yeah, we got to leak that hose I replaced. It doesn't like the positioning of the new pump. So we're going to have to replace that. Dang it. 
Not exact match, but it'll do. Reddish. Yeah, the big hose. Yeah, it's got kind of a little kinky in it. Yep. Not sitting quite where it was. No. Nope. Yeah, you're going to put your elbow right in that paint, so just be careful. What do we do, make a new hose? Yeah, I'll make a new hose. And then we'll see if we can get this hood latch back on there. All right, well, we got a leak. That hose I replaced last time. It's at a little bit of a different angle. Actually, all the hoses are a different angle. I'll show you. This one, we got to get a new hose. It just barely reaches right now. Get a longer one. Seems to work pump-wise. We definitely have a leak here because of that kink, so. Well, we got that fuel pump change and there's no leaks now, finally. But I do want to show you something that's rather entertaining. So we're going to fire it up. Look at that. You see that the fuel feed hose is pulsing away. So we definitely have to change those hoses. This one stretched too far. The pump's a little different than the one that we uh, took off that's configured a little bit different. So we're gonna change those lines. It's just a good insurance anyways, but it's running much better. We don't have any leaks, so we're in good shape. Well, let's see how it sounds. Not bad, not bad at all. How's your hood latch repair going, Mike? Good. Yeah. Bent everything into shape but except for this last piece. Can you handle that? It's not too happy to go home. So Logan, shall we go see how the fuel pump changed things? Yeah. Hit it one more time, all right? It flooded it a bit. I'm not used to these carburetors anymore. Uh, let's go see how it dries. I'm holding the gas steady. I think we're out of fuel. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Come on, you can make it up the hill, baby. <laughs> Still wanted to rebuild that car. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. it made it back. <laughs> Let's go put some gas in this and see what happens. Well, I think we have a fuel filter problem, which is not surprising. So we're going to turn around and go back to the house and uh, just do that right now. And you can see how it just bogs. It does this. <laughs> fill back up in the car a little bit just by creeping along in first gear but we'll have some power back until it depletes those floats again ready to give it a shot yeah that it's got some junk in there. We may have to drop the tank, which on this car is a huge pain in the butt, but it is what it is.